Awesome. Welcome, and thanks for viewing another 12 p.m. tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Your Freedom, a piece of software that allows you to access the internet anonymously by routing your request through the Your Freedom servers first, and then delivering it back to you through the Your Freedom servers. Your Freedom works with your web browser, but can also be set up to work with other programs on your computer that access the internet, such as an SMS or instant messaging program. Now that you know what Your Freedom can do, let me show you how to use it. First, open your web browser. Now go to www.your-freedom.net. If this is your first time on the Your Freedom site, take a look around before continuing the tutorial. There is some interesting information here regarding the Your Freedom service. When you're ready to move on, click on the Downloads tab. Here you can see all the different versions of Your Freedom that are available. We want the Windows Full Installer version. Choose the mirror from the list that is closest to you. I'm going to choose Mirror US and save the file. Minimize your browser and go to where you saved the file. And double click the icon to start the installation. Click Next. Here, you choose whether you want to install your freedom for the current user only or anyone who uses the computer. I'm going to leave it on anyone who uses the computer and then choose where I want to install the program. Click Next. Let it create a program on your desktop. When the installation is complete, you will have the option to start your freedom right away, but I'm going to launch it from the desktop. When you're finished, click Finish. On your desktop, double-click the Your Freedom icon to start the program. Now select your language. On the user interface, click Configure. Now click Use Wizard. Click Next. If you want to use a proxy, you can input the information for the proxy here, but I'm just going to click Next. These are the different protocols that Your Freedom utilizes in order to anonymously connect you to the Internet. Leave all of these checked and then click Next. Your Freedom will then search for the closest and most reliable server that it can use to connect you to the Internet. Once you receive the list of servers, go ahead and choose one that is closest to you, and then click Next. Now you have to enter a username and password. Don't worry if you don't have one, that's why we left the web browser open. Go back to your web browser, and under the login fields, Click the link that says First Visit, click here to register. Here, you only have to fill in the username, the password, the repeat password, and the email address. Go ahead and do that now. Check all three of these boxes. and click Submit. This page informs us that we have to wait for an email.
When the email arrives, click on the link that they give you and you'll be taken to a page called Account Activation. Your information will probably be entered automatically and all you have to do is click the button that says Activate Account. Once that's done, close the browser and go back to the Your Freedom program. Go ahead and enter your username and password into the appropriate boxes and then click Next. Now click Save and Exit. and then start the connection. If you see the open door icon, then you know you are connected. Now you know how to use your freedom.